comments. In this video, I will be addressing your comments, criticisms, compliments, questions. What energy you bring here, I will return to you with the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, the balance of the honor and the grace, and the possession of peace and neutrality. Keep in mind, no one is twisting your arm to be here, so keep that in mind. If you are going to make claims or if you are choosing to not read the terms and conditions of the comments field, well then you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Now, I don't ever take anything personally here. I recommend that you do the same. What I'm saying in this comments video is a critique based upon using the lens of correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar i.e. quantum grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public in 1988 by the late Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. Keep that in mind. Everything I say is pretty much through that lens. So with that in mind, let's get to it. Welcome back, folks. Been getting such a flood of comments lately. Had to do another comments video on the heels of the last one I just put out. And we get to start off with the little troll known as the hood streamer. And before you start saying, Jason, why are you ad hominiming? Well, I'm not ad hominiming because there is no argument here. I have labeled the hood streamer as a troll because they exhibit troll-like behavior. The comment you see there on your screen, they spammed that comment seven or eight times. The same exact comment on different videos on my channel. That to me is troll behavior. And look what they put. They put a colon space for this channel. Folks, even a beginner intermediate student of my channel knows that that is not correct. You don't just put a colon in front of something and then think it's correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar. Basically, they're saying, of the for this channel. The colon represents a position lodial phrase. If there is a space between that colon and the first word in the sentence, then it would mean of the, based on correct sentence structure mechanics. So they're saying, of the for this channel. And it looks like there's a double space between the channel and is, so that's a break in the continuance of the evidence. So colon space. So that's basically they're saying uh, for is a pronoun. This is an adverb and channel is a verb. Anyways, because of the, the break in the continuance of the evidence, the double spacing between the L and is. Anyways, so we've established right off the bat that this individual does not possess closure on correct sentence structure. But what are they trying to say? For this channel is with the formation. Because they put miss in brackets, and then they put in in brackets. If you're going to put all that in there, why wouldn't you just put miss in in brackets? Why would you need two sets of brackets? In any case, they're not there. They're not on the page. So this channel is with the formation. So they're basically trying to tell me that my channel has been formed. It has a form to it. Well, thank you. Your grasp of the obvious far exceeds someone of probably your age, which I'm guessing you're very young. And then they put in brackets, you bracket your last name to remove it on your descriptions, never keeping continence of the evidence. What is continence of the evidence? Of course, folks, we know that they obviously mean continuous, but I guess they didn't have a dictionary handy when they were uh, writing this comment out. Of the evidence between colon Jason I and Matthew colon glass and Jason I and Matthew. Can't believe anyone would fall for such a simple trick. What trick is that? It is not a trick. I have explained over and over and over again why I do that. It's because the bottom line is not available on the YouTube description platform. So if I put a colon in my name in a sentence, especially at the end of a sentence, 
that messes with the positional sequencing. It messes with the concatenation of the sentence. So therefore, I put it in brackets. And if you're coming here with the balance of the honor and the grace, the position of peace and neutrality, and the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, i.e., you don't mean any harm, i.e., you're here to be cognized, you're here to understand things, you know who the hell Jason hyphen Matthew is. And if I say that's who I am, that's who I am. It, there's no trick. The only... Uh, what, what did uh, Yoda say to Luke Skywalker before Luke Skywalker walked into that tree? Yoda told him, basically, the only thing that's inside there is what you bring with you. And the hood streamer, obviously, is not here to be peaceful and neutral. They're an interloper. They're a trespasser. They're a troll. And then they say, co- many mistakes. What is co-many mistakes? In everything you put out, surprise anyone takes you serious. So is that the pot calling the kettle black? I mean, look at all the mistakes I just pointed out. And I didn't even point out all of them. Not only in their plain, simple English spelling and grammar, but also with their quantum gobbledygook. So I gave on a back. I returned the energy that they brought to my channel and I said, if you can bear to pull your lips from RJG's ass for one minute, you may wish to finish learning how to communicate on an adult level and take a break from video games. I had looked at their channel and I see that they are a video game streamer, or at least they were four years ago. And then I put in quotations what they put at the top there for this channel, uh, colon space for this channel. And I tell them it's of the for the channel is one of your many grammatical errors. Spamming the same comment over and over is wild. So I draw your attention to my community section here. After I posted that video where I audited the Quantum Bank World website, I put this post in my community section. I said, do you like to see the pot stirred? The hornet's nest disturbed? The obvious pointed out. Check out this video premiere if you dare. I knew that putting out that video would attract people like the hood streamer. And then I put this post where I said, looks like the hood streamer isn't so hood after all. He, she deleted their own comments before I even had a chance to, because I was going to delete their comments. That's okay. I have screenshots and will include them in my next comments video, which you're watching right now. Pretty funny. They actually went and deleted their comments after I posted a uh, short video of Kuliana to one of their comments. And then I said, the hood streamer is still investing energy in trespassing here. This is my channel. If he, she is not here to learn grammar, then why are they here? My initial Kuliana caused them to delete their comments. Today, they returned with this comment. Lacking original ideas, they decide to accuse me of what they are actually doing deleting comments. Not only that, but they accuse me of being childish, which is what my assessment of them was. LOL. FYI, I must approve all comments before they are published. Duh. This boy or girl is making a choice here, is making a choice to be here. It's curious as to why. They clearly possess very little correct sentence structure knowledge and very little in the way of original thought. Meaning, my Kuliana back to them, they basically repeated it back to me. They didn't have any original comebacks or anything like that. Are they being put up to it by someone who is manipulating them? Or do they just enjoy trolling? Normally, I would just block a troll like this. However, they seem young and I thought I'd give them a chance. Well, young fellow lady, your chances are about to expire. Go back to streaming video games with the other boys and girls. Leave the mathematical interface on grammar to the adults. It's clearly beyond your ken at this moment. Also, using spell check would be wild. So then they say, you're like a child. Y-O-U-R. Hood streamer. That would be the you're that you use with an apostrophe between the U and the R. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E which is the contraction of the words, you are like a child. That one's a freebie on me. 
You're like a child still deleting comments. Don't worry, simple answer. I will post it again. For the and then he puts or he or she puts their correct sentence structure in brackets. Interesting. And they took the colon out, which means that they listened to what I said. So they're actually learning from me here, which shows that at least they can be taught. For this channel is with the formation. You bracket your last name to remove it. And then they, but they did not correct the word continents because obviously they don't know how to spell it. Still never said I was wrong. All you did was throw a temper tantrum like a clown and deleted it. Learn to stop and correct. Quit misleading people. Quit misleading people. What does misleading mean, folks? It means not leading. That's correct. I don't lead people. Misleading means no leading. I don't lead people. People can lead themselves. Um, unless you're like the hood streamer, maybe the hood streamer chooses to be led. Easily led at that. Obviously. So, that's that. I mean, I have not actually blocked this individual yet. But I fully expect them to come back with some other tomfoolery or haberdashery in response to what I'm saying here. So we'll see how it plays out. Next comment comes from Harry Knoxville. Thank you for your membership, Harry. And they say, did MKC, meaning Mark Sean Christopher, just say he is a chief judge from Temple Bar, Central London? No way would I be trusting what that guy says. You are correct, Harry Knoxville. He did say that in that video. Um, whether that's true or not, who knows? If it is true, that's disturbing. If it isn't true, that's even more disturbing. As far as the trusting, yeah. I stopped trusting what that guy said at the beginning of 2018. Next comment comes from Pi314, and they say, I was first excited to listen to Manly P. Hall after listening to this excerpt. I do recall listening to him many years ago as well, and yet again, I found him to be a spokesman of propaganda and perhaps mixing in a few obvious truths. He refers to the fiction Bible, some old Zen masters, promotes the medical cabal's germ theory, introduces nuclear fallout fears, and has the ubiquitous perpetual sky is falling commentary. I agree. You know, I do find value in what Manly P. Hall says. He's obviously very educated. And if you read between the lines, you can find some gold nuggets in the pile of steaming uh, feces that, you know, perhaps someone could construe his words as. But the fact remains, he did author this book. And this book... And the syntaxing of this book and the rewriting of this book is what the late Colin David Eiffel Wing Colin Miller gave as his credentials for being, for claiming 92nd degree Freemason. Keep that in mind. Another comment from Pi314, and they say, For the gratitude of the share, I was initially excited thinking he was maybe a genuine person with wise words. I find many nowadays mix some truth to instill lies. Do you think it wise to still take what one agrees with and leave the rest? Well, that's pretty much what I just said in the, the last Kuliana to Pi 314's comment. Um, I just suggest critical thinking. Think with logic. Think critically. And basically try to stay away from assumption presumption. Next comment comes from member April. And they say, Jason, I think your YouTube speaks for itself. The rest is up to the viewer. I have not seen anywhere else that gives such mechanics. Cheers. Thank you for your membership and thank you for those kind words. And I do appreciate the type of sentiment that some people find value and voice their gratitude for the value that I've shared in all these videos on this channel. 
it does seem to make it all worthwhile. Next comment comes from a member for the claimant. Thank you for your membership. And they say, thank you for all you have contributed. It is appreciated. It is a shame that some individuals fail to invest energy into locating the logical closure and reason given to the use of brackets when writing a correct name performance within a sentence. Some platforms do not provide the ability to underline, such as YouTube, so it makes perfect sense when upholding the math interface, which is uh, basically what I said a couple comments back. Unfortunately, patience, consideration, humility, and respect seem to be missing from today's communication process. Thank you again. And I will also say this, that my patience is finite, just like anything else is finite. There's a limit to it. I reserve the bulk and majority of my patients for those who come to me with the balance of honor and grace, the position of peace and neutrality, and the maintenance of rule one, rule equal. Individuals like the hood streamer and trolls thereof, I don't usually spend very much patience at all on them because why would I? Why would I be patient and allow someone to keep trolling and keep trespassing? That would be just like allowing the fiction to walk all over you continuously, having patience with them. No. Nope. Patience is limited and reserved for those that approach me with positive energy. Next comment comes from Charles Lynn Rogers, or actually 1888 Cashman, but they punctuate the name as colon Charles hyphen Lynn colon Rogers. And they have a crown copyright, becoming traveler, and then the R symbol in a circle. And in brackets, in quotations, I am a human becoming. Help me to become. Are they asking me to help them become? Because BE means no. If you think about the word behead, it means no head. So they want me to help them not to come? But I don't know where they're coming to. <laughs> okay. So they say still watching, and then they put uh, colon perception, colon experience, particle of negation with the vowel in front of a consonant, not to mention the EX means no, no parents, uh, colon acknowledgement, vowel in front of a consonant, A, in front of the C means no, so it means no acknowledgement, uh, colon celebration, colon expansion, again, particle of negation, E in front of the X, not to mention the EX, which means no pension. And then colon becoming, which means no coming. And then plus the ING is a particle of negation as well. And then they put Jason hyphen Matthew with no colon in front of the J, which makes it just a standalone pronoun. And then in brackets, colon space glass. And then they put colon born hyphen leader, period. And then another no contract word and acknowledgement, particle of negation, vowel in front of a consonant. I don't know if they're ascribing that to me because I don't know Charles Lynn Rogers. I don't think I've ever met them. So how do they know what I would be born as if they're referring to me? Because I am not a leader, although I was born. So that is an erroneous um, I guess an assumption there, but if that is what their perception is of me, I, you know, uh, it's not up to me to judge them for that if that's how they perceive me. However, that is not what I am. And I'm telling you that because I know what I am and I'm the authority of what I am. And I'm not a leader, but I was born. So maybe it's half correct. Thank you for the comment. Ooh, and then we have a couple more from the Hood Streamer. A couple more, uh... <laughs> oh, a couple more flurries before they went under the waves. Colon space truth hyphen wins, period. Of the truth hyphen wins. A standalone pronoun, folks. And when you see that, you know exactly where they're coming from. They're coming from the Russell J. Gould 
cult. Cult follower, troll. Whether someone sent them here to troll or whether they came here of their own volition, who knows? Who cares? Doesn't matter to me. And then they say, thank you, another pronoun, for the free hyphen publicity, pronoun, adverb, verb, colon, space, clown, another pronoun, of the clown, name calling. So if they do leave another comment, I will certainly block them. But I do thank them for providing much entertainment and to give you, the viewer, the regular view of my channel, a look into the type of mentality that these Russell J. Gould cult followers possess and the type of behavior, the way they conduct themselves. This is how they conduct themselves on a regular basis. Next comment comes from Ega0117 and they say, has the grammar ever won in the courts? Now, as far as winning or losing, for me, that's a fiction concept. I feel like if something stops a trespass, if something gives a positive outcome or conclusion to a situation, then I guess that could be considered a win. However, grammar in and of itself is just a thing. It's just a tool. Tools don't win. People win. People using correct grammar can win or have positive outcomes. So taking that in mind with the balance of the honor and the grace, the answer to that question is a resounding adamant yes. You just have to learn the grammar and have the skill to use it. Next comment comes from For the Pascal, and they say, quite embarrassing, actually. And they're commenting on the recent reaction, Coral Blade Grotto broadcast reaction video I did to the chief judge of the Temple Bar, i.e. Mark Lowercase Cake, Sean Christopher. And I have to think that they're referring to the video, and I was curious. I answered this comment. I asked Pascal that it, I said, what's embarrassing about it to you? Because with correct sentence structure, and also at Pascal's level, he knows that one may only make a claim for oneself. So, in that context, if Pascal is saying quite embarrassing, actually, then I'm guessing they mean that Pascal means that Pascal is embarrassed by this video. And I asked them, what's embarrassing about it for you? Now, on the other hand, if they are saying that it's embarrassing to Mark Lowercase k, that's an assumption presumption. Now you're making a claim for Mark that Mark's embarrassed or being embarrassing or bringing embarrassment to himself. That's a presumption assumption. So that's why, Pascal, I asked you, what is embarrassing about that video for you? Because with correct sentence structure, we don't make claims for other people unless they give their consent. We only make claims for ourselves. Next comment comes from Mark Lee's Civic Duty, and they say, workshop is, workshop is what I want. Very serious. If I had a troy ounce of gold for every time I heard that, I wouldn't be here right now. And again, usually people that say that never take a workshop. They're always about telling people what they're going to do, but they never follow through. Hopefully Mark will. Next comment comes from Dennis Thompson, and they say, Hello, Jason. With the honor and grace, we are all equal. My sensation of the YouTube video heading being used as a thumbnail clickbait, being used incorrectly or correctly, should really read as three uncredited men meet a, at CO box of a business to serve paperwork to other men that don't work at business. Now, this individual... I would think, has read the terms and conditions and community guidelines of this comment section, as they are a regular commenter. And one of the things that I ask is that you never tell people what they should or shouldn't do. And here this is, this individual is saying, should really read as, meaning they're telling me how I should title my video, 
which if they want to create their own YouTube channel, they can title videos however they want to. However, I've been doing this since February of 2018. I have almost 900 videos here. I have a lot of experience with this. I don't know how much experience Dennis Thompson has with labeling videos. Do you get my point? Or titling videos. But I do have a lot of experience. And it is not a clickbait title. Mark lowercase k Kishon Christopher literally says that in the video. He identifies himself, credentials himself, announces himself as the chief judge of the Temple Bar London. He says that. So it is not clickbait, Dennis. So you not only are violating the community guidelines, but you're also incorrect in what you're saying. My humble opinion and reaction as I recover from brain melt after seeing the event, why dress in black as a hood without ID person to meet, time made, etc. Video is runtime 3333. Weirdness. What's so weird about that? Do you have some sort of personal emotional attachment to that number? Some sort of trigger, maybe? Zero context between four event. Zero context, context between four event. I have no idea what that means. There is so much wrong here and think Jason like short comments and field all madness from a man that showed so much hope and promise many years back. Well, I'm not sure what hope or promise the individual that you're talking about showed. All I can say about that is that that individual presented themselves one way and then gradually over time uh, the deeper colors that they possessed began to come out. And as they say, the true colors are shining through. Final comment comes from D.L. Williams and they say, Mark Sean Christopher's name is on the judicial notice and global constitution he left with them. We are doing great things for the people. Mark Sean Christopher is a great man. Well, thank you for sharing your opinion, D.L. Williams. What do you mean by we? We are doing great things. Who's we? Is it you? Do you have a mouse in your pocket? Are you talking about you and the voices in your head? Are you talking about you and Mark? Who are you talking about? And the people. Who are the people? Because I consider myself to be part of the people. And I never asked you or the guy in that video to do anything for me. Nor did I give you consent to do anything. So if you're doing something on my behalf, you're trespassing. All right. I'm being a little bit cheeky here. One thing I will tell you. You see the difference between this individual and the hood streamer? Folks from Mark Lorcase K. Kishon Christopher's neck of the woods, if they come to my channel, which they don't very often, but if they do, they're actually very polite. They don't name call. They don't cuss, and they're not usually condescending. For example, this individual came here, stated their case, their opinion, which they're more than welcome to do. Being that the video is a reaction to Mark Lowercase K, it doesn't really have anything to do with the grammar because Mark Lowercase K doesn't really have anything to do with quantum grammar. I left it up with the balance of the honor and the grace. Very different than the hood streamer, who is a troll. This individual, I think, my guess, my assessment from past interactions, because I do recognize the profile picture, is not a malicious individual. And they do seem peaceful. So therefore, I don't mind giving them a voice here, because I do have to approve all the comments. But the minute you violate the terms and conditions, the minute you get rude, like the hood streamer, that's when the Kuliana gets a little spicy. Thanks for joining me, folks. If you would like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, I offer several choices. The first one, and the easiest one, is to study the almost 900 free public videos on this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. The second option, if you want to see new content, 
is to click the join button on my main YouTube page or under any video that you're watching, click the join button and you will see two tiers of membership. If you choose the second tier, the loyalist contributor tier, and you join that for a monthly support donation, you'll get new content, fresh content, exclusive content not available to the public every month. But keep in mind, there's already almost 900 videos here free to the public to study. And the third option is to contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen. And this is for the serious students only. And apply for a correct grammar workshop. But please include your correct name when contacting me. And I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation. And you and I will have a conversation. You can ask me whatever you want. I'll answer your questions. I'll do the same with you. I'll ask you questions. And we'll see if indeed you are really serious or not. Thank you.